32 ounces of lemon water for the day. Now it's time to make our daily celery juice. We drink this every single day. making us this really good medical medium cranberry water. We've been having it for like the last week. It's so refreshing and so good. So I'm headed out today to talk to some restaurants and grocery stores and I think it's about time that I trim up the beard. It's getting long. Don't want to look like a guy that's just been living off grid for eight months and hasn't done anything to take care of himself, so. So my grandpa, he used to say the way you got hair on your chest was you grew a beard. First you grew the beard, you shaved the beard, and all the hair ends up on your chest. And that's how you get hair on your chest. I wonder what Ashley's gonna think, if she's gonna approve or not. How am I looking? Nice. Still long. <laughs> Ready for uh, the restaurants it's and the grocery stores more. today? Good, so you approve. Yep. All right, so I'm all cleaned up here. I gotta start some microgreens. I gotta cut some microgreens and then we'll be ready to go. All right, so we're gonna cut some sunflower and some pea microgreens. We're gonna take them in and give some of these restaurants I met yesterday some free samples so they can try out the product and see how they might use it in their restaurant. We got our peas, I'm going to cut some sunflowers, and then Ashley's going to put together some nice uh, little samples for people, and we're going to go to those restaurants we met yesterday, and then we are also going to go try some new restaurants, so I have some just in case. Alright, so we got our sunflowers cut, typically what I do I'm trying to get like 10, 10 little sample bags done. So I did a half tray of uh, peas, half tray of sunflower. That's all we're growing right now. I've got more seeds on the way. I'll have some more options for them eventually. But I think this will at least give them the idea. They can taste it. They can look at it. They can visualize how they might use it on some of their dishes. So what's going on? So we just finally got an email that we got approved for one of the farmer's markets. Um, we got approved for the one in Castro Valley on Saturdays, which is exciting because we've been waiting for this approval. It's been really hard to get a hold of people. Um, so I'm just reading through the documents we have to send in and all that good stuff. And we have to let them know what date we want to start. Let's start tomorrow. I don't know. What are your thoughts? You want to do it tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, I got stuff to sell. Let's sell it. All right, so we're off here. 
going to go stop at our first place. So this place I went to yesterday, and she seemed super interested. She even wanted to buy a pound right then and there on the spot. So I think she's going to be a good one. I just told her I would swing by and drop off a little sampler for her. So we're off. Got my CJ, got my celery juice here. Got my heavy metal detox smoothie. We're about five minutes from the place. We'll head over there right now and see if she's in. Hi. Hey, Michelle. How are you? Good, good. I got a little sampler here for you. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Thank you. So it's a mix of peas and sunflower. Okay. So try it out, see what okay. sort of dishes you might be able to, to put it on. Yeah. yeah. We're right up the street here. If you ever need any sunflower sprouts or anything like that. Yeah, no problem. You let me know if you need anything. There's a number on there and stuff. If you just give me a text or a call or something like that, I can cut you a bunch of them and you can swim by and give you a deal on them. Cool. See ya. So you could see she had a pretty busy day ahead of her. She had a lunch order of 20 she was trying to put together. So we couldn't chat too much, but she got the samples. It sounds like she's interested in, I might've got another customer. Just a, a guy sitting in there in the neighborhood who's interested in the sunflower sprout so he might give me a call and give him a business card and stuff and buy some stuff from us but we're going to head over to the next little community we're going to talk to a gentleman I met yesterday who owns a Thai restaurant and he uh, likes to sprinkle the microgreens on his dishes <laughs> Hey Simon. How are you? Hey, good, good. Got some uh, sprouts here for you. All right. Yeah, so those oh, are. Look at that. Yeah, so that's uh, sunflower there. Uh -huh. And then the there's also pea in there as well. So you kind of got the mix of the two. Mm -hmm. But. Um, we can do those two. I also got radish and broccoli as well that we're, okay. we're just kind of starting out with. And if there's any that, any special requests or anything that you're like... What is this? That's peas. Peas. So the pea, the pea is going to taste like pea. Mm -hmm. And then the sunflower has a little more of a nutty taste to it. Mm. But you like the sunflower? Yeah, I like the sunflower. Okay, so... And uh, what else do you have? The sunflower? So broccoli is smaller. Okay. And I've got some seeds on the way. Uh, so I don't have broccoli yet. I don't have radish yet. But I have okay. seeds on the way. So... Uh, I'd like to see another one too. Like, these okay. are a little bit too big for garnishing. But, you know, I think this is good. Okay. Start. Okay. All right. So you want me to bring you two a week? Yeah. So two I'll... Bags of, two bags of... Uh, Okay. Sounds good. All right. Starting next week? Starting next week. Sounds good. Okay. Sounds good. See ya. Thank you. So the second guy we went to, Simon, he placed an order. He wants two bags of sunflowers per week, like big bags. So we got our first sale. All right, that's it for the day. Long day. Hard work. Hope it pays off. Did a lot of restaurant stuff today. Started some microgreens. We got our first farmer's market tomorrow. So, a lot going on here. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go check in with Ashley, see what she's up to. Now I am making us some salad for lunch. All sorts of good stuff in there. Lettuce, microgreens, radish, bell pepper, pomegranate seeds. Red onion, maple syrup, lemon, and garlic. All right, we're eating our salad now. I just got home. <laughs> so we got into this market for tomorrow. 
last minute. We got to figure this out. At 4.30, they emailed <laughs> and said, sure, you can start tomorrow. And we're like, oh my gosh, we thought, you know, this time of day that they were not, they weren't going to get back to us. Yeah, so now we've got a, I'm about to go outside and take a tally on what crops we have and what can we bring and we could just got an order today from a restaurant so that was kind of cool and he wants two okay. bags of micro of sunflowers we'll, we'll just save some for him we got five and a half sunflower and three peas to take to market it's so good. that'll basically pay our stall fee and we'll good. make a little extra i think well, yeah Definitely. Hopefully. But I'm opening this box that came yesterday from Amazon. Ashley's already told me what's in here, so it's not a surprise like it should be. So these are pretty awesome. These are microgreen trays. I saw these on Amazon. Right, so you put all your microgreens in here, the air gets through the bottom here, and then this is the one you use to water. So it sits like that. I thought, wow, this is perfect. I could use this with chefs. Did you know that they were smaller than your 10 pounds? Oh yeah, big okay. time. Yeah, and that's fine, because people can use this on like their kitchen counter if they wanted to grow microgreens. So are you giving these away? I'm gonna let chefs use them. So when I go in, I'll give them this thing of microgreens to cut from. Oh, and then they return it to us? And then they return it to us. Cool. Amazon link in the description below. Check it out if you think they're cool. Guacamole night. I know, I'm a little overwhelmed right now. I'm trying to get this post out on next door. Uh, get everything ready and together for tomorrow's farmer's market. And then make sure I get up at a good time so I can get all of our liver cleanse stuff prepped. And I also gotta make elderberry kits. Oh yeah, we're starting that cleanse tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. <laughs> so are we gonna so. pig out tonight or what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely hungry right now. Alright, well, I'll make the guacamole, okay? okay. a little hot so I got some paprika in there got some cayenne and the most flavorful pepper here chipotle this is great on everything then we got some black pepper some Mediterranean sea salt then I took a lime threw a lime in there through some peppers and some red onions. So I gotta get my taste tester. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm coming. <laughs> I gotta get the chips. Get the chips. <laughs> I got the chips. These are um, grain free, gluten free chips. 
We really, our favorite are the Siete, the like sea salt plain ones. But these are on sale, so I got these. Good? It's good. Yeah, did you try it? I haven't tried it yet. Why don't you do me up one? Okay. Oh, it's very spicy. So tomorrow we're doing this cleanse here. It's in Anthony Williams' Cleanse to Heal. It's the liver cleanse, but the advanced version. We've done the regular version a bunch. You could see it on our YouTube page. Alright, we got done with our dessert here. And I think it's... Time to call it a night, huh? Yeah, it's been it's been a long day. We, you know, found out we get to do the market tomorrow, so we're kind of scrambling to get ready for that, and we need to get to bed and wake up at a good time. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Night. Good night.